<laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I, re I really like that wolf guy. But, gotta say, I don't understand like what's going on here. We, need we needed to go to the rooftop so that we can go underground so that we can get to the surface. Would it, be, would it not be easier just to go to the surface? No? Right. You have almost reached World Marshal Oh. Right. So, what happens now? What kind of enemies do we have? Is that another one of these big robots? Or... Yeah, kinda looks like that. It kinda does. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. I need to do, like, at least a few kills on these guys. Nope, 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 nope. Knock that out. No, knock something out. Um, there we go. And get the good stuff. And now we are absolutely good to go. Alright, let's battle on the big guy. Before he causes trouble. Look at that! Boom! And... Is he dead? I think he is. And I think I could... The road supports? Yeah! I can do that. We got another big, big ass robot here that I hate so much. But these guys aren't as bad as the boss man. Although, with enough of those uh, life charges. And the biggest problem in the world. Well, let's see if I can uh, cut him down like that. No, I was not going to. I was not supposed to do that. Oh, oh, I should really try and dodge these, but I'm kind of impatient. And again, stunned. And then he's gonna. I know you, I know you, you're gonna do that. Don't do it. Now I can hopefully bring him down. No, no. No, 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 no. But I should have so, those targets, right? And now bring him down. And, yeah, it's time to do some slicing. Oh, yeah. All right, kill it. And here we go. Can I get the good stuff? Yes. From 16% to 120. That works out excellently. Yes, that's a word, totally. So, still, no? No one else? A rank, yeah, definitely. Enemy Improvement. Avoid fighting if you can. Um, we'll have to see about that. Okay. Well, I can always try the box approach. That guy is kind of. Too close. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Must get Mr. Box. Is that going to cause me? It's not. Yes. No, I can't. I'm supposed to go like up there, right? And now that guy is coming here. Can he see me from here? Do, 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 do. Ah, crap baskets. It was fun till it lasted. Alright, let's do some heavy blows. That's how you deal with these big guys. Yep. Hopefully they just don't summon those robots, because that's gonna take like another five minutes or so. Look at that. Boom. Oh, it's the big hammer guy. Can't touch this. Can 
tonight. Slice of life. Yes. And here we go. Why did I just do that? Now I need to knock out the little guy. Need to do that. Oop. And get that. Get in invincibility frame for a second, like that. Avoid the uh, big ass hammer. Oh, I didn't know he was going to do that, but it works out. Although, not really. Kinda works out. Okay, now just one hit, and then the massive blow. And boom. Okay. And here we go. Oh, nope. 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 Hit me. Hit me with all you got. Okay, I need to calm down for a bit. How is he. How is he blocking everything? Like, the past guys haven't been this difficult. Is this like one of those super hammer guys or something? Okay, now we got some hits off. There we go. Oh! Nope. Kinda avoided that. Although not really. And... Here we go! Slice off the arm, the very least. What else can we get off? Both of the arms, that's nice, that's nice. The other leg, alright. And he's gone. Head for the next objective marker. And where is that? Okay, we got... Is there a way around this or not? Well, I would kind of like to get some health. By a bunch of guys. Where's that guy walking? Maybe if he gets down, goes to the right. No, I thought. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. What the? What the heck? Right. There's a doggy. Right. Now I need to deal with the dog. Awesome. It's awesome how earlier bosses become like uh, regular enemies in these kind of games. Yep. And need to knock out somebody. Like this guy. Alright, now we are good to go. Now we are good to go. Alright. In... Oh, there's... Alright, Mr. Wolf. Let's do it like we did it back in the one of the earlier episodes. Um... What? How, how was there like a, wa a splash of water or something? Okay. Um, where is he? You can see better from up here. Oh, look at them! Look at them go! Is he going to dash? And then we do that, and we strike a few times. And... Nope, nope. That was bad. Okay. Okay. What? What kind of cannon does he have? Just like Crying Wolf. Um, okay, if you're gonna be in the corner... Where is he? Oh. Oh, right, right. And... How do I avoid that laser beam? And now he's just kind of standing there, lying there on the ground. Okay, that works out. Can he fire me from... Okay. I guess I just need to get to higher ground whenever he, he decides to do that all over ground, even. Either way, works fine. Alright. And... 
Now, yes, here we go. Here we go. Now he's down. Let's bash. Oh, yeah, look at that damage. And he's dead. Awesome. Okay. And then we move on. And to World Marshal HQ. Oh, dear. I do have some grenades. Is that it? A real cutscene? My sword is a means to an end. To protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you. All those cyborgs you've killed up to now. Maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? Yeah, I didn't think about the police guys. Made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their PMC contract. Usually they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the streets. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family? When your country's embroiled in civil war, pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear inhibiting nano machines and sent right into the blender. Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eyes and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the nano suppress. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh. Okay, do I just do I just kill him? Or what do I do? Eliminate all enemies. So back to all business. We don't care about what the nano machines talk about. We don't care if they have lives or not. We're just here to kill them because that's that's what the uh, mission is. Just to eliminate all. But yes, I did think about the policemen before I was killing them. Gotta say, it makes me kind of sad. And I need some help, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright. Oh no. Full Nelson! Full Nelson attack! Oh, oh dear. There's the Pasuga guy. Yep. Oh, oh. Full Nelson again. Full Nelson. That's not gonna work on me. I'm Rabbit. And now I can see because we're having some tree chopping. And that was that. Huh. Very 
worked out surprisingly well. Cutscene. Raiden, are you injured? Emotionally, yes. A fair choice. Not like you. People are different. As opposed to AIs. You're all the same, huh? You and your brothers. Manipulating mankind for our own good. It appears my statement has upset you. I apologize. Uh, no, it's... I know you're right. As for AIs, we adapt as we learn. Just as any intellect operates, man or machine, altering the course of mankind is not among my divine directives. I guess that's a really Samuel's behavior does not match established parameters. You know him? Affirmative. We served together on three previous missions. He proved most capable. You think highly of him? I have always found him dependable. Until now. Scouting data for the next area. I'll patrol ahead. You follow. Raiden, your current emotional state appears highly volatile. I am sure you do not intend to abort the mission, but I suggest you avoid combat for the time being. Okay, look at Ryan go. He's all like slow and he doesn't care. Or he does. That, that, that's kind of the problem. Yeah, okay, can I? I can't even go to a box. Like, I, I could hide my shame in a box, right? Wouldn't that be a good idea? Well, let's keep moving slowly and see where that gets us. Um. Don't really care about that random item right now because I'm moving extra slowly today. Oh dear. Hopefully that doesn't. No. Oh, yeah, I missed. Didn't spot me. Good, good. Now let's move on to the checkpoints. Can't do anything. All right, now I got an extra life bar, basically. Okay, and how am I supposed to go? Yeah, he's walking. Hopefully, he isn't coming over here. Cause that would be bad news. There's. Are we? We go this way, but there's more guys at the door. Oh man. Do I just need to... Oh, there's no way. Maybe if I go from the corner? But I need to go to the middle. Uh. 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 I don't care. Leave me alone! Do I need to go to the... Well, I, I, I do have at least a checkpoint here. Let's see how this turns out. Uh, still nothing? Well, I didn't snap out of it. Snap out of it. Oh. Okay, now I'm just losing all my extra health bars that I have. Hey, I don't want to kill anymore, mommy. Not so black and white now, is it? Yes. Oh, he's over there. Yes, Sam. Okay. Fuck this shit. Cutscene. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. Who is that? My name is Monsoon of the Winds of Destruction. Yeah. 
I guessed as much. What is this? What kind of ragdoll is this guy? Huh. <laughs> Feasting on the insides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Someone to anger long enough, and he learns to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair, only the most last of How about the shit? Is that a meme? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. <coughs> Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you've taken. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. Hmm, well that was an interesting speech about memes and stuff. That is until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. Look at that, Raphael. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off after the Patriots. I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! <sighs> the bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. You? But you, all this, is a wake-up call to what I really believe. What I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Pain inhibitors. What? This, this is madness. You do it. All right. Pain. This is why I fight. You've 
lost your mind. Take this dance. No, sir. Report back to the chief. He's mine. <laughs> You're the boss. I misjudged you. You are like us after all. Now you're just being nasty. <laughs> that nickname you love so much. Want to know how I got it? Actually, why don't I give you a demonstration? I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. Rock and roll, bitches! Oh man, and we got some badass music here too. Okay, but I think what I'm gonna do is end this up in a clippery hangary. And I should probably... Oh wait, I can't even put on my goggles, but he still seems to be a pretty badass guy, even though we have activated Jack the Ripper. So, I was just thinking that we could, we could do this next time. Because I've been recording for like over an hour, and uh, I think this would be a pretty good part to end things off here. And uh, next time we could fully unleash a Jack the Ripper. And test out his all his new powers. Let's see what what he has. Okay, okay. Well, this seems to be working out decently. No, he's pulling the Raphael on me. Oh dear. Yes, it does. I'm just going to die here soon, anyways. And we definitely need to figure out a strategy for this boss because he keeps on teleporting. And how do we slice a guy who's like already sliced up? I guess we can make him into smaller slices. But that's and more and more of this awesome badass music in the background will be on the next episode. So thank you for thank you so much for watching and until next time this is the Flaming Spade signing out. Peace.